but then here's the garage. <laughs> I uh, finally got this all done, and there's the steps all finished up. Lucy even went ahead and put a uh, little stencils on there on the stairs as you go up. And uh, this is where I hid the uh, hot water heater. Let's see, light inside of there. So I moved the hot water heater over, stuck it back in there, and uh, built a little place for the welder, a little corner spot. Put the masts up there. And of course, I got my black and gold axe and sledge hanging up on the wall. And this is finally finished, <clears throat> but I haven't got the flower room in there yet. So I'm <clears throat> thinking that that'll be down there. But uh, right now it's holding camping gear and stuff. And then uh, <clears throat> come back to. Um, well, this is just a. I need another another shed in the backyard workshop but uh, you know, put everything there rollers I can move them out of the way to get the stuff you know and I painted the uh, workbench workbenches reorganized everything and then here's this side made a new workbench <clears throat> and a couple shelves to put my paints and screws and stuff and, that's an access panel to the uh, furnace so I can change my air filter. And made that little frame there. <clears throat> Close this in. Then we go back into here where I'll make another video and show you what I got in here. And then um, let's head to the, uh, the garden. I'll show you my, my tomatoes. Like I said, I still had a shit ton of work to do all along here <clears throat> in the back, but it's supposed to get up to 96 today with a heat index of 100 and some. I just, no way. I'm not working in this summer heat. It's crazy talk. But I need to come back here and clean up this mess. <clears throat> and uh, let's go in here and see how these things are doing. I rebuilt my, uh, I rebuilt this. This got blown over. <clears throat> you can see where I had to there we go. had to reinforce it and everything. I had to fix that. But uh, here's my tomato plants. My grandfather's tomato plant. Mine. You can see that <laughs> they're about five and a half feet tall or so. But <clears throat> there's a flower there. But look at the leaves. Look at how they're curled and suffering. I don't see a single tomato bud on it. I do need to come in here and retie these things. I did a quick, ugly job on them. And, you know, and with the sunroom, with this tent blowing over it, it tore them up pretty good. But uh, here's some uh, zucchini and cucumber. These are looking good. <clears throat> See here, you got plenty of flowers underneath there. All kind of flowers. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. That looks nice. And then the, uh, Collard greens. Lucy's been out here picking those and frying them up and garlic and onion. Pretty good. Not too bad. Here's my, uh, oh no. What the hell's going on here? This is the one I had. I just put this out here last week. Pumpkin, here's a, here's yellow. This one's moving right along. Holy shit, this is big. Look at that. 
there's a pumpkin in my attempt at staying in the pumpkin growing contest. Hopefully that'll come along. And I got my peppers back there. I don't know if you can see them. Those look pretty good. You see that there? And so that's the little mini garden. And uh, when I get up to my grand pops, I'll take a picture of what a real garden's supposed to look like. <laughs> I think these are, let's see, she's got these here. C cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, midget cantaloupe. Um, cantaloupe. Cucumber. Yeah, watermelon right there. Those are the ones that we neglected. We had put those in the, um, you know, I had that couple plats and uh, just didn't have a chance to get them in. They just sat in the plats and grew and grew and grew and this is all we have left. So, there's, uh, there's my grandpa's uh, tomatoes, fellas. I'd like to give a special shout out to Mr. Packer, who made an awesome video for me to download and take to my grandfather, and I'm sure he's going to enjoy that. And uh, KB, what's going on? But <clears throat> I just uh, right on, Mr. Packer. That's good stuff, man. I've been, uh, like I said, working here and framing up that uh, basement and finishing up the brickwork and planting and such. And uh, haven't had any real time to. Uh, make a video. My grandma's bungavilla that we put over here is doing pretty well. And, uh, but uh, I was trying to send you an email this morning Mr. Packer and uh, you know, my grandfather says that he does what you did on purpose. Where he uh, keeps them cold and changes the temperatures on them in their early growth to allow them to uh, get hardy and strong and uh, his turn out you know and uh, <clears throat> every year he has huge gigantic tomatoes man I can't wait until uh, hmm so you see that I, think I got some powdery mold right here look at this <clears throat> What the fuck is that? Huh. Look at that. Now, <clears throat> I looked up powdery mold because I heard you guys talking about it a few times and they said cinnamon. Cinnamon works to kill powdery mold. So I'm going to get out here and throw some cinnamon down on those things see if that works and uh, yeah that's what I got there's a workshop now as done as it's gonna be for the next couple months until I decide to change it <clears throat> got some dumbbells start getting uh, getting in a little better shape here of course the black and gold theme rings throughout in case you didn't uh, catch that in the past couple videos because uh, Go Steelers, baby. Whoop, whoop. But, uh, alright, I'm going to click this off and get that other one going. Again, thank you very much, Mr. Packer, for the video and the shout-out, dude. You're awesome. And, uh, until next time, Mr. Grow Home out.